Mm. So it's ready, set, continue time. I got another Let It Rock review. It's actually a continuation of, a lot of another review I did, which is today, new Deftones, Gore, Holy Far. Dude, I love, I, I love this album. This is the album like, like nothing else quite that they, they made. At the same time, I'm going to contradict myself. You're going to, to hear all these elements. Sorry, I'm laughing because my cat's being ridiculous again. Uh, so, you're going to hear all these elements of Deftones. Like, I heard, I definitely heard a lot of, like, the self-titled album. I heard, um, some of, like, Diamond Eyes, which if you can hear in the background is the Diamond Eyes album. I am not playing the new album. Not because I don't want to hear it, because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. You just guys, just, yeah, I, I'll talk about it, but to actually hear you just... Instead of hearing gargled in the background, you need to hear this like loud and up front. Um, this is like the whole album just flows. It's almost like one continuous song of just deft tone awesomeness. Like, so like you know, like I said, you even get like a little adrenaline in there. There's like. Like, you can hear, like, uh, Korea from White Pony in there. Um, even, like, a little bit of Elite. Uh, it is very heavy. It is also got some of the lighter tones of Deftones. Like, it, it just kind of goes all over the place. It goes up, down, all over. Like, it, it gives you very familiar sounds. Like, it's almost like they took the highlights of their career and took... But not just songs, just like elements of the songs and parts and mashed it all up, kind of reworked it to be one coherent piece of art. And it is a, a spectacle of album. I really didn't expect this from Deftones. But then again, with Deftones, you never know really what you're going to get on the next album. And why I say, well, this one's a little bit different is that it's... It doesn't center on one individual song at any point. Like, when I was listening to it, like, I, I was trying to think about what songs I really want to point out so much for this album, and I really, or for this review, and I really couldn't. It, it was just like, I, I, there's nothing on here that I don't like. In fact, if you like one song, you're pretty much going to love every song off this album. Uh, for some people, that might not be... Like, people that listen to just singles and the hit songs, you may not dig this album. Because this is kind of a new frontier for them. And a very cool new frontier. In fact, I, you know, I even have to remark, this might be like the definitive Deftone album for guitar work, at least. Um, it's just, like you still get kind of that um, signature Deftone sound on the guitar for a good portion. Uh, but there's these little gems where it almost sounds like they brought in like another guitarist. It was just like, and I, I guess you get, I, I have to consider it as the first time that you actually get to hear a guitar solo in a Deftone song. Like it's never been like, you know, the typical intro, uh, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge solo, you know, that type of stuff. They, they like to kind of just keep it very simplistic, just drive these amazing riffs at you. And this is the first time they, they kind of depart from that and go this uh, different route on uh, 
it's only really one song, but there's all throughout these amazing parts that just aren't typical death tones. Um, like there's this one uh, outro on, on this one song, it's just like, it, it's a slow outro, it's just like, pause, pause, like, longer pause, and it just kind of carries, and it's really cool, like, it, I mean, I still got chills from listening to this album, it's so good, I have to admit, um, it's, I, I mean, I enjoyed it the first time, and I, as much of a Deftone fan as I am, I have surrendered to the idea that a lot of the time when I get a Deftone album, I'm not going to fully understand their direction right off the bat, that a lot of the songs are going to be songs that I'm going to probably skip over, uh, you know, I'll listen to it all together, one time through, and start picking out my favorite little gems throughout the album, and those are like my go-tos, and slowly, like, the lesser songs will, like, pick up on me, and be like, oh, wait a minute, you know, that is a really good song, and I'll start listening to it more and more. That's not the case on this. This is just, right off the bat, I'm mesmerized by the sounds, the atmosphere. Um, and yes, I'm sure, I, you know, I'm, this is one of my things about Deftone albums, it, is that Chino signature scream. Do you get the Chino signature scream and how much? You get quite a bit of it. I mean, quite a bit of it. Uh, you know, during the noisiest uh, sections of this album, you just get him, like, making those vocals bleed. It, it's absolutely incredible, like, his screaming. It's, it's good to see it. That even, it, it's like this weird mixed bag of brute force aggression of the depth tones what has kind of really solidified them into the uh, scene, but then also incorporating what they've been developing over the years, uh, decades, um, this more trippier, more psychedelic type atmosphere and sound. Uh, but they even incorporate, it's not like just all, you know, hey, there's the heavy part and then boom, we're going to go low and floaty and trippy. No, they, they blend. It, this album just, it's like a pit of writhing snakes. Uh, you know, you never know what snake is going to be the one on top, like, slithering around and writhing. And, I mean, that's the best way I could describe this album is just... It almost doesn't give you time to think either. It's it's so thickly layered with all these elements and concepts, and it's I mean not not putting down any depth on now because quite honestly I there's not one that I really don't like. I mean. There's obviously ones I, I kind of are more a go-to for me, uh, like a, Adrenaline, Around the Fur, uh, Diamond Eyes is big, I love the self-titled, uh, there's a lot of White Pony I really dig, uh, the only problem is White Pony because of the popularity at the time, and some songs are just like, I don't want to hear them so much because they got overplayed, like, um, Change in the House of Flies, unfortunately, is one of those songs that it's like, it's cool, but I need to distance myself so I can love it again. Um, as far as the uh, two most recent albums, uh, I'm still kind of, I, I'm very, I, I've listened to both, I love both, uh, but I'm, you know, like Saturday Night Risk was really cool, I'm still kind of, um, Finding a true, true love for the album, I, you know, it's the it, it, it makes me jump around, it makes me kind of mellow and chill. It also makes me laugh, like with uh, the song 
freaking cell phone, which I think is just ridiculous, that uh, outro on there. Um, but yeah, uh, like, like I said, I have done, I redid an initial review of the Gore album. That being said, that I only had a couple of songs, it was like about a month ago I think I did the review, or not even. And yeah, it's... One second here. That's where my camera, my flash just went off for no apparent reason. Anyway, um, we're just going to keep going. Despite technical difficulties, uh, like, so I only had a little bit to work with on on that initial review. I still wanted to talk about it because, you know, this is one of my favorite bands. And it was, it, it's just great that, you know, from what I initially hoped and wished for this album, I got, but I got all these beautiful little surprises along the way. Like, every single track will surprise you it's, it's they don't deliver the same old same old and this shows why exactly Deftones have like one of the most dedicated uh, fan bases around uh, why they survived all these years despite other bands coming and going <coughs> I mean you know they're running partner corn uh, you know corn still has their faithful uh, followers but you know, they, they unfortunately have not held it as together as well uh, as, like, the Deftones. Like, even porn fans are kind of like, you know, the new album's good, it's not as good as this album or that album. But Deftone albums, they, you know, for fans, I mean, I, I was posting on YouTube about, uh, I guess it was on the um, Triangle Sub video. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was amazing, like, like reading the comments of everyone, interacting with the, the uh, crowd of fans. Um, one thing that I noticed, like, a lot of people are waiting for the Terry Date days to come back. Because Terry Date was, is uh, one, of the, um, one of the best producers out there for hard rock. And I really felt like them, him and the Deftone, had this great blending, and yeah, it, those were some of the greater days, but I think at the same time, as great as Terry is, you know, this kind of um, separation is lending hand to them, uh, spreading their wings and really just kind of soaring over new ground on this one. So as much as I would love to hear like Adrenaline the sequel by Terry Gates and the Deftones, um, you know, I'm very, you know, I, Deftones is one of those bands I just don't, I feel like for me to be like, well, if you just did it this way, it's like, no, you guys do you, you know, Deftones just, uh, they just don't tell them what to do. <laughs> Just let them do their thing. They will find their own path, and you'll be so surprised by what path they actually do choose. And, you know, like I said, I, I can't believe this album. I really can't. It's just so... It's so familiar and yet so alien at the same time. And, um, in a way, like, since the death of the bassist, I kind of feel like this was, like... Like, previously, they were trying to keep that sound, but they had to, at this point, surrender that one part of their band is gone. And one part of the influence and what uh, gave them that um, certain sound and uh, gravity to their music, unfortunately, has now left. And this kind of, to me, says that with uh, the new bassist, that they're kind of taking on, or kind of accepting and moving on, and actually accepting him as like not just a part of the band, but a, a, a influence. Really, I mean, I could be wrong, but that's kind of like how I I perceive this, and you know, 
I, as sad as it is, uh, you know, to see someone so great pass away, a, a great musician, a great person, and, and everything, they have such a great uh, choice for the band to uh, um, move on with. And, um, you know, it, if this is what we're going to get, uh, you know, this is great. I, I feel like, um, you know, <laughs> I'm already ready for the next album. It, it's that, it's that exciting. It's just, uh, as, as far as mood, it's, it's really all over. Sometimes it's very, like, you get the sense of, you know, almost like trying to, like the band in, in in the concept of the album is trying to work out internal conflict, and there's like these beautiful, peaceful, melody floating, uh, you know, parts, and then you you get these just extreme blunt force, trauma, angry, aggression filled, uh, you know, mo moments too. Uh, that just demands you to like whip that head and like heaven to this, uh, to it. And you know, it, I think I'm gonna be confused when I go see them in August. <laughs> Cause I'm not quite, I'm not going to know, like, should I kind of be dancing in a bow or should I be like, just like going full force mosh pit? <laughs> Which is cool. It, it's very cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, as far as, like, you know, have what I've noticed on the other video was, like, uh, you guys, like, I, it's my most viewed video. It's, I thought the Mandela Effect shit was, uh, carrying me, but apparently you Deftone fans, uh, like to blow up anything Deftones. <laughs> but it's cool. Um. And that being said, I didn't do this review to get more views. I did it because, God damn it, I love the Deftones. <laughs> and first and foremost, oh, I love the Deftones. Love them. Uh, I'm going to, I, I think I'm going to do some more music uh, reviews, too. Um, send me, um, like, send me ideas, like, what what bands would you like to see me review? I I would totally be up for it. I've I've been a huge huge uh, music enthusiast and nerd uh, since I was like fourteen or so, um, and I've always been kind of wanting to find that next like cool band. You know who you know that band that no one knows about. It's like you know that you could be like oh. I have awesome music, and it's like, I want to share with all of you. <laughs> and that's how I am. I, I think music is, like, one of the greatest gifts that you can give to people. Uh, it, it changes your emotions, your, uh, you know, the way you think. Uh, music is just magic all the way. You know, it can really work you through um, some of the most difficult points in your life. It can help you celebrate the greatest points of your life, uh, it can make you rethink your position of life, of how your role in life, uh, how life perceives you, I mean, that's the beauty of music and I love it, and because of that, you know, I always like to find, you know, I, I try not to stick with one genre because I feel like to stick with one genre is like saying that I want to experience only one emotion for the rest of my life. You know, you just, you just can't. You know, it's just wrong. <laughs> like, how how could you want just one emotion? It's like I want to be happy all the time. That's great. But you know, do you like you know with just being happy? It's like, do you ever want to feel sleepy? So you want to go to bed? Do you ever want to feel energized and just be running marathon? Uh, you know, don't you want to have sex? Don't you want to be horny? You know, <laughs> hey, it's everything. You know, it, even anger is fun. 
like, you know, when going to see uh, Pentarium when zombie back in the day, holy fuck, I, you know, I like getting my anger out that night. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and it was very, and I did it constructively. But anyway, uh, send me um, bands, albums that you want me to review. I will absolutely take a look, and if it's something that I think is, you know, uh, really worthwhile to review, I will totally do that. Uh, I did Placebo, I did uh, Death Tones this time. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to stay a little current in my own kind of reviews. Uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm so out of the uh, loop. I don't know what's coming out soon. But I'm going, after the video, I'm going to take a look. Um, I may actually do some throwback stuff. Uh, the other day I went to find all these cool, like, I found five cool new bands I never heard of, which oddly are older bands that somehow escaped me. And I was like, well, how the fuck? Like, um, this band No Means No uh, is absolutely shocking me right now. It's, if it wasn't for the new Deftones, I'd probably be listening to, uh, you know, No Means No. Thanks, Deftones. <laughs> um, who else out here? I heard uh, Melt Banana. <laughs> I love Melt Banana. <laughs> that name alone is awesome. I like a lot of noise rock, like Thunderbolt. Thunderbolts. Oh. Maybe I'll re review the thun uh, Thunderbolt. There, I said it. I was actually able to say it. I am, I'm so not the professional host, sorry guys, but anyway, and so once again, me rambling, I'm just going to be like, these are rambling reviews from now on, blah, 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 so I'm a little, I'm trying to get energy up, because I got to clean, because my place is a shithole, so anyway, no, I'm not a cook, <laughs> uh, so anyway, peace and love to all of you. Thank you for watching this uh, Deftone review, and uh, kudos to you if you made it through my rambling and are hearing this. I love you extra. <laughs> anyway, bye.